there was always um, a, a commitment to being bold in the changes that, that we were going to propose, and it was it was Brent Scowcroft that led in terms of the the magnitude of the change the president would propose. I have chosen as my national security advisor, Brent Scowcroft. He understands the White House. He understands the military, the State Department, the way the Hill works, and the intelligence community as well. Hard to get these things. <laughs> That's good. Brent Scowcroft was probably the president's favorite staff member. He had a great sense of humor. He worked from 6 in the morning till 11 every night. George Bush used to tease Brent Scowcroft all the time, claiming that he nodded off during cabinet meetings or nodded off on Air Force One, and Brent did. They were personal friends from the Ford administration, and Scowcroft had experience leading the national security structure for President Ford. So here's this guy who's fingerprints all over everything, but who doesn't want to be in the public eye, who gets very little attention. You're going to have a joint leadership meeting. You're going to talk about Nicaragua and, good. and, and really the, the triumph of your strategy and congratulate the Congress. No, and really a bipartisan yeah. effort here. You were... I came in with a, with a fairly specific notion of what to do, and that was to change our policy toward the Soviet Union which had been one based on arms control, to a policy focused primarily on Eastern Europe. 